We're going to look at writing slope point form of an equation into general form. To do this, we have to rearrange the equation. And the first thing we're going to work with is the slope. And we're going to multiply it or distribute it throughout the bracket here. We have y subtract 1 is equal to 3 fifths x plus 3 fifths times 2 is 6 fifths. I'm going to move everything to the left side of the equation. To do that, I'm going to bring the 3 fifths x over here and the 6 fifths over on the other side. This will give us negative 3 fifths x plus y subtract 1, subtract 6 fifths, and that's equal to 0. You may think because the equation is equal to 0 that it's completed, but it's not. We have some still some issues left around. So negative 3 fifths x plus y subtract 11 fifths. So we have a couple big points here that makes this not in general form yet. One right here, we have not a whole number. We have a negative fraction, which is two big no-nos for general form. Here, our constant is also a fraction and not an integer. So we have to change that. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of the negative here on A by multiplying this by negative 1. That would give us 3 fifths x subtract y plus 11 fifths is equal to 0. So the still we have the negative removed, but we still have a fraction, and the coefficient of x must be a whole number. To do that, we're going to multiply the whole equation by the lowest common denominator of 5 and 5, which gives us 5, of course. When I multiply every term here, in the equation by 5, I get 3x subtract 5y plus 11 is equal to 0. And now we have general form. If you wish, there's another example here. And you can pause the clip and attempt this one on your own. First thing I'll do is distribute, distribute the three halves, or the slope, throughout the bracket. That will give us y plus 2 is equal to 3 over 2x subtract 6. I'm going to move everything to the left side of the equation again. And that will be negative 3 over 2x plus y plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. Finally, we have 3 over 2x plus y plus 8 is equal to 0. Once again, we have a non-whole number here in the coefficient of x. So we must multiply. First, I'm going to multiply by negative 1 to get rid of the negative part. And that would give us positive 3 halves x subtract y, subtract 8, equals 0. And we have to get rid of the fraction as well. So I'm going to times or multiply the equation by 2. When I multiply everything here by 2, that's going to give me 3x subtract 2y, subtract 16, is equal to 0, which is the general form of an equation of a line.